It was a game and a half going in, but Tim Wakefield was on the mound. 19 wins against the Rays. That's the most against Tampa by any opposing pitcher. Carlos Pena grounded a second. Alex Cora, a little bobble there. Pena save. Error Cora inning continues. They always make you pay for when you make a play like that. Wakefield, the wild pitch gets by Kevin Cash. Call Crawford scores. Rays a 1-0 lead. Out of the bottom of the fourth, tied at one. Deano Navarro shoots one in the right. That's going to score Evan Longoria from second. The Rays had a 2-1 lead. Longoria had himself quite the ball game, as you'll see. But in the top of the sixth, first and second, now J.D. Drew and Manny Ramirez, you see, 636 combined against Matt Garza. But not on this night. Garza induces the weak, broken bat flyout from Drew. There's two down, the next batter. And, well, lately, this is Manny being Manny. He's going to foul out to first. Garza through the middle of the order, the heart of the order, unscathed. Garza still in the game at the top of the seventh. There's Longoria. What a diving stop to Rob Cora of the hit. Get some nice help at first base on the scoop by Carlos Pena. Garza, seven innings, five hits, one run. Top of the eighth, first and second. Again, it's Drew, but this time the pitcher's different. It's J.P. Howell. The result pretty much the same. Strikes out, looking. Two down. After a Manny Ramirez walk to load him up, Grant Balfour facing Mike Lowell. And Lowell grounds to short. Jason Barton will throw him out. Rays get out of another jam. How good has their bullpen been? More on their closer coming up shortly because it's not Balfour, or at least it was on this night. Boston trailing 3-1. Balfour gets Kevin Euclid, Brandon Moss, and where's the captain? There he is, Jason Veritek. See you later. Balfour strikes out the side. The Rays extend their lead on Boston to a two-and-a-half game. Nationals and Marlins. Fish can make it two Florida teams in first place with a win and a Phillies loss. Colin Bailster, major league debut, and Hanley Ramirez with the bases loaded and one out shallow pop. Look at Robert Adino. He gets his Tyson Gay on and motors home ahead of the throw. Marlins close the gap, 2-1. Bailster then would walk Jeremy Hermita, lows the bases again. Jorge Cantu into foul territory, and the threat's in. Bailster, solid work, five innings pitch, one hit, one earned run. Welcome to the show, kid. Top six, still 2-1 game. Mark Hendrickson facing Ronnie Belliard with the bases juiced, and you've got to have the money ball. That's taking advantage of the sacks full. Seventh of the season, the Nats go out to a commanding 6-1 lead. Bottom seven, same score. Steven Schellen really facing Ramirez, and, well, Hanley is quite the excellent ball player. Three-run shot, third consecutive game of the homer. So the Marlins close the gap to 6-4. It's 9-6 as we move to the ninth. John Roush from the hill, two on, two outs. And Luis Gonzalez, the tying run, no. What we have here is the 27th out in the books. The Nats hang on to win it by a count of 9-6. So Phils, their lead safe for the moment as they face the Braves. The fight is closing down June on a 3-11 and slide. Jimmy Rollins facing the rookie, Charlie Morton. Sorry, Charlie, that's a base knock. Next up, Shane Victorino. He'll have some. Line drive. Two-run homer. Look at that. I, I think the first baseman actually tried to catch that as it went over his head. Victorino's third. Phils take a 3-0 lead. Chase Utley makes it three consecutive hits off the rookie. Ryan Howard. Yes, sir. Pass Kelly Johnson for a single. Four in a row. Pat Burrow. All right. That's fine. Off we go. Phillies take a four-zip lead. Fifth consecutive hit. Now, Jeff Jenkins comes up. And you figure, well, this is where this nonsense will end. He's hitless in his last 27 at-bats, but no, no, no. Big Jenkins, he's tapping into the mojo right there. That's down. Ends that hitless jag. The Phillies take a 5-0 lead. I sense an old happy day coming. Chipper Jones facing Kyle Kendrick. First game back in the starting lineup since June 19th. He goes one for three, finishes the night at 393. Bottom seven now, it, it's close, 5-3. Brian McCann facing J.C. Romero. Tying run in second, not so much. McCann grounds out in the Phillies. Oh, happy day, win at 8-3. Phrase, a little something, something. That's where that came from, I don't know if you knew that. Game two in Detroit. Nate Robinson on the hill, bottom first. This is odd, Mike Redmond grounds out to first. Marcus Timms throws home. Carlos Gomez hesitates, tries to slide around Pudge Rodriguez. Misses the plate, so Rodriguez goes and gets, that's just a quality former driller play right there. Uh, I'm not sure anybody would assume that double play, but two outs on it. Bottom four, two on, nobody out. Craig Monroe, how about that one with two on? So uh, the Twins from one down to two ahead, 3-1. Morneau, Redmond score ahead of it. Bottom five, we got nobody out, runner on second. Carlos Gomez, nice little bunt there. Singer, Carlos again, no chance, well played. Next man up, Alexi Casilla. 
Sometimes you hit the little ones, sometimes you hit them a little farther. All inside half the plate, scrapes it down the line there. Then Art Span comes home to score, and the Twinkies go up four to one. Next man on the lineup, bring up Redmond again. Singles to center. Casi and Gomez will both come home to score. Twins go up 6 1. They go on to win at 6 4. And uh, the seventh straight win for the Tigers, not on this night. Well, the White Sox have won seven of their last eight against the Indians. Bright side for the Tribe. They had that guy, Cliff Lee, going, looking for his 12th win. Lee strikes out Brian Anderson, eight innings, six hits. He's allowed one earned runner, fewer in nine of his 16 starts. As for John Danks, gives up this Kelly Shopik solo blast, sixth home run of the season, and the game was tied at one. Still that way, Dank strikes out Franklin Gutierrez. Danks had a career high eight strikeouts, eight innings, one earned. His ERA is 0.69, his last four starts. Top of the 10th, Casey Blake, get out of town. His eighth home run of the season puts the Indians up 2-1. That's your ball game, right, wrong, bottom 10. Sox down 2-1, Alexi Ramirez, solo home run to tie it. Joe Borowski blew his fourth save of the year. His ERA in save situations is 12 and a half. Later in that same inning, Orlando Cabrera comes through. That's his 12th career walk-off hit. And the White Sox win in thrilling fashion, 3-2 over the Indians. Rangers knocked off the Yanks in the first of three at the stadium. Nolan Ryan watching, unavailable to pitch. He's pretty old. Bottom second, two nothing Rangers. Kevin Mill would look at Uncle Charlie and Wilson Betamy and Brett Gardner and Bobby Abreu. Mill would five innings pitch, one earned six Ks. How about the filthy breaking stuff? Wilson Betamy, though, takes advantage there with Josh Roop in the game. Jorge Posada trying to score from second. Throw offline. The Yanks tie the game at two. We go to the ninth, still 2-2. Two -two. Brandon Rivera coming in. Now that's not obviously a safe situation. It's a win situation for him. Michael Young at the plate. Ian Kinsler swipes third. The Yanks draw on the infield. And the next pitch, Young. Just look at that. Chopper through. Kinsler scores easily. And the Rangers will take it 3-2. They will go for the three-game sweep Wednesday night. Athletic. I don't know. I'm going to just run away from him next time I see him, though. Cubbies and Gents. Cubs halted a season-high four-game losing Jake Monday in San Francisco. Matt Kane pitched exceptionally well. Here he gets Ryan Terrio. Pitched out of trouble in the seventh. Kosuke Fukudome, tenth strikeout for Kane. Same inning. Mark DeRosa grounds for third. Jose Castillo makes a diving stop. Rolls ground, throws over to first. That's excellently done. Play by Castillo to Rob DeRosa. Base hit Kane. Eight innings pitched. Two hits. Ten Ks. Kane. He's pleased. He likes it. Top nine. Brian Wilson in to close it. Runner on third. Giovanni Soto singles to center. Derek Lee scores. So now from two zip we have two one. And as we say back home, the cheese is a little more binding. Runners on first and second. Later in the inning, and Terrio strikes out. The Giants win at two one. So the Cubbies halted there. Okay, so that would seem to favor him statistically speaking. Top second. Oakland up one zip. Ryan Sweeney. Little bingo. Hey, now. Hey, kid. There you go. Yeah, that's through. That counts. Mark Ellis will score. Oakland up two zip early. Meanwhile, Harden on the bump throwing. Well, Vlad Guerrero line drive that's caught by Ellis. Second top play nominee. Tied at two in the eighth. Ellis again off Scott Shields, his ninth of the year. The A's take a 3-2 lead. Home half. Same score. Alan Embry pitching with a man on third. Vlad chops it. Bye, Bobby Crosby at short. Reggie Willett scores, and we're tied at three. But clutch situation, who do you need? You need an Anderson. Garrett Anderson, two-run shot, is seventh of the season. The Angels win at five. Three, K-Rod is 33rd save. Angels now five and four against Oakland this season. The Brewers and the Diamondbacks pick it up bottom of the first. Diamondbacks already trailing 3 0. Runner on Jeff Supon on the hill, and Orlando Hudson rounded a third. Fielded nicely by Bill Hall. Hey, jump throw beats Hudson, who can run in the first. Great play by Hall. Let's go to the top of the second. Randy Johnson from 1993 through 2002. He was 14 0 against Milwaukee. Just one and four since, make it one and five. J.J. Hardy takes the unit deep for the second time of the game. Part of back-to-back -back home runs given up by him. Augie Ojeda lines out, diving Bill Hall makes the play. Tremendous play again at third base. Bottom of the eighth, Diamondbacks trailing 8-6. Miguel Montero, the liner. Mike Rivera at first makes the catch, tags the base to double it up. Diamondbacks fall 8-6, to six. down 6-4. 
Berkman up with two on and two outs. There's a good idea, the intentional walk to Berkman. Well, it looks to be a good idea. Carlos Lee on deck, and Lee rips one to left field. I think, I mean, the part about walking Berkman is always a good <laughs> idea. Delwin Young tries, can't make the catch, two runs score. Game tied at six, and the strategy in the end does backfire. Carlos Lee is a tough out. Top 11, still six all. Jeff Kent, a solo shot. It's the eighth career extra inning go ahead home run of Kent's career. 374 for his career. Ties him to Rocky Calavito, 63rd all time. The Dodgers win. Pirates and Reds are suddenly wondering where's my Bobby Tolan baseball cart? Edison Volquez on the mound, coming off his worst start. He's up in Toronto, seven run, four and a third. Top six wins at Pirates. Adam LaRoche, double to center. Jason Bay scores from third. Ryan Domit, round third as well. And Edwin Carnacion dies. Tay, oh, safe. And Carnacion not happy with the call. Watch how long it takes to get ejected, okay? So he done it. He's on the ground, and he's up, and boom. Two seconds. I mean, you've got to say the wrong thing and say it in a hurry to get going. Chad Fairchild runs about. Here comes the old dust ball, but... Look at this again. Carnation dives. Looks like maybe he had made the tag. Pirates up 2-0, and then he comes up and says the bad word, and, and just like that, your night's over. Which word do you think he seconds. went with? I don't know, but I, my guess is it contained. Anyway, <laughs> Jack Wilson to right. Junior tries, no. Xavier Nady will score. Wilson triple. Pirates take the lead 5-4, win it 6-5. See, I tried to help you out there. I know, and you know what? Though sometimes I just let it go. Right. Hard for me, though. Nearly broke my jaw. Sports Center top plays number 10, Fred, U.S. Olympic swimming trials. Aaron Pearsall set a world record in the 100 meter backstroke, hitting a strong field, 52.89. He broke a record previously held by Aaron Pearsall. What number will Wipeout be in the uh, uh, top plays? Blue Fred Jays Mariners tied at six, bottom of the ninth. Willie Bloomquist to the gap off Sean Camp. Raul Ibanez comes in to score. How did you guys beat 60 minutes? Number eight. Again, everybody's in the pool. Natalie Kaufman, first woman to break 59 seconds in the 100-meter backstroke. Here she comes in, 58.97, like up the first, perhaps as many as six races she could swim in Beijing. Thanks, Diane Sawyer. Number seven, the Reds and Pirates. Killing me. Edwin Encarnacion pops one down the right field line. Doug Mankiewicz. You know, that's not his natural position, Mankiewicz. What a play. How does your roommate put up with you? <laughs> Number six, Mets Pirates. Jose Reyes pokes one to center field. Rick Ankiel coming in and makes the diving catch. Well played by Ankiel. I mean, the guy's a pitcher. He's out there playing center field right. and hitting home runs. What a spectacular story every time you see. Number five from the Red Sox and the Rays, Evan Longoria. He's going to be in top place for a number of things, but this one he fouls up. Kevin Euclid makes the grab. You know, they got a lot of Rays fans now going to those home games, but in the future they'll learn you can't allow the opposing player to go into your stands and make that catch. Number four, a little something we call egg roulette. Two people, choice of six eggs, there you go. Five of them are hard-boiled, one is, one's raw, and you just go in there and, and bang them against your head. That's uh, that's a sport, I guess. Oh, that's not going to be on the next wipeout. That's no, not it's not. Events. Come on, totally not one of our events. Brewers, Diamondbacks. Orlando Hudson slaps one of the opposite field of Bill Hall, snares it, and makes the jump throw. What a play by Hall! I could watch that quite a few times. Oh. All right. Fortunately, there is bonus <laughs> Bill Hall time. Another grab on Augie Ojeda. Hey now, Bill Hall had himself the game. Even Melrose didn't really like you. No. Number two, Dodgers Astros. Wandy Rodriguez trying to lay down the bunt. Pops it up. James Loney. Look at oh, full extension. Not a great bump. Great catch. And at number one, you weren't. You were number two. The Red Sox <laughs> and Rays. It's Longoria, the diving stop and the throw. One thing to make the stop. Still got to make the throw. Longoria does everything well.